Howdy, second graders. Today, we're going to be working on estimating fractional parts of a whole. What that means is you are going to be telling me estimates, which are guesses that make sense, kind of like a hypothesis in science, an educated guess about if it's closest to about zero of the circle is shaded in, a closest to half or about half is shaded in or almost the whole thing about one because when a whole shape is colored in that's called a one hole so I'm gonna draw this first one you can just go ahead and watch okay and then I'm just gonna color it in and let's look at this shape right here is that closest to about none of it about zero is shaded in about half or about one? Well, if it was zero, I wouldn't see very much of the black color. If it was about one, I wouldn't see very much of the white. So it's closest to half, because I know that if I were looking at this and I draw a dotted line like this, that would be half. So yeah, it's pretty close. I'd say that's about half. Number two. Let me go ahead and draw this. Okay, looking at the purple circle, number two, and the section I colored in. Is that about none of it's colored in? About half of it's colored in? Or about the whole thing? About one whole circle is colored in? Well, I know that half we already talked is about right here. That's not close. The whole thing I wouldn't see very much white, so I'd say it's closest to about zero. Number three. Okay, let's let's see what I have in store now. Is it okay? So, what does it look like? Is it about zero of it shaded in? About half of it shaded in? Or about nothing or about the whole thing is shaded in well zero we know if we looked up here well that's barely any of it shaded in and if we look at number one half would be right down the middle like that and that surely isn't so it looks like wow it is almost all of it is shaded in we have just this little bit that is not shaded in that part right there so I would say that it is closest to about the whole thing is shaded in so I'm thinking about the pizza and this is the piece we have left right here I'd say we've eaten about the whole pizza all right number four last one What do you think? There's my shaded in color. Is that closest to zero, about zero of it's shaded in? About half of it's shaded in, or about one? Well, I think about zero, more of it than half is shaded in. But I think it's too, it's too close to half for it to be the whole thing shaded in. So I'd say about half. All right, go ahead and go to the inside. Oh yeah. Don't forget to put your name at the top. Well, I'm just going to look at this top part right up here. Just to review, it says you can estimate about how much is shaded using only, or using zero, one half, and one. So if we look right here at the first one, zero, nothing shaded in. If we look at the second one, half, there's a line going right down the middle. Think about a sandwich. If you cut it in half, you have two equal parts. And this one says one. Well, that whole thing is shaded in. So let's look at this one right here. Is the red part about zero, half, or one? Well, I'm looking at it. It is closest to one whole. So it's about one. So on the line, I would write about one. All right, let's look at this next one. It says, is the green part about zero, half, or one? Well, this guy's thinking, and I agree with him. 
it's it is closest to hat one half. And last one, is the blue part about zero, one half, or one? Well, barely any of it's shaded in, so it is closest to zero. Let's go ahead and get started now. All right, number one, about how much is shaded? Circle your answer. Looking at it, most of it's shaded. So, about the whole thing, or about one whole is shaded. Number two, about how much is shaded? Well, I'd say it's about closest to half. Since half is right there, that's pretty close, about half. Number three, how much is shaded? Mm, not very much, that's about zero. Okay, number four. Oh wow, that's almost close to being right down the middle and symmetrical. So I'd say that's closest to about one half. Do you understand? Move that up so if we have to write, you can see it. I learned my lesson last time, right Lila? We couldn't see it. Do you understand? You ate five pieces of an apple. There is only one piece left. Is the amount left closest to zero, one half, or one? How do you know? Well, let's draw a picture. So here's my apple. You can go ahead and do this too. On your paper, with your pencil. And I'm gonna eat five pieces of it. So let's cut it into five. One, two, three, four, five. I know they're not equal. I'm doing the best we can. And Or no, let's eat a six, because it says there's one left. So if I color in five of those six pieces, two, three, four, five, is the amount left, so this part right here, closest to zero, one half, or one? I'd say it's closest to zero because there's zero and the reason there is because there's not very much left so we're going to go ahead and write that zero because and you should not be writing the word cuz c-u-z because that's not actually a word because there is not much left, especially compared to how much you ate. All right, remember if you need to pause and write that, go ahead. Let's go to the next one, or the next side. All right, number five. The directions say circle the best estimate. How much is shaded? Number five, is it closest to about zero, about one half, or about one? Well, I wouldn't say it's close to zero, because a lot of it's shaded, but it's not almost the whole thing. I'd say it's closest to one half. Go ahead and go to number six and tell me if that's the amount shaded that is closest to zero, one half, or one. Number seven, say number eight, the same circle what is shaded estimating and number nine draw what comes next in the pattern please don't forget to do this we have one half two fourths three six what would come next so we have one two four six what would that be? Go ahead and try your best. So it would be two, then we have three, four, five, six, seven. What would go here? Remember, equal parts. Now go to the back. All right, number 10. Draw a picture to solve the problem. There are five pieces of pie. 
go ahead and draw your pie in this box. Liz, Zach, and Dan each have a piece. What fraction of the pie is left? Is the amount left closest to zero, one half, or one? So draw your pie. One. There's my five pieces. Liz has one, Zach, and Dan. So this is what left. Is that closest to zero, half, or one left? Number 11, and make sure you draw that picture. Karen took one bite of the sandwich. Which is the best estimate of how much is left? Is about zero left, about one fourth left, about one half left, or about one left? Like the whole thing. And number 12, yes, I want you to do this. Write a story that tells about how much paint you use to make a picture. Draw to show about how much paint is left. Draw your how much paint is left in the paint tube right here. All right, when you are done, if there is a teacher to, who is not at the back table, go ahead and have them check it. If not, turn it in. When you're done, you can get on Prodigy or Front Row or, since it's Friday, even coding.